Hi Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, welcome to my channel, my name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what have people been saying about you lately. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 23rd of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.02am. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am losing my voice. <laughs> please bear with me. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. What have people been saying about them lately? Please bear in mind that this reading... I mean, people who have been talking about you could be anybody. Friends, family, exes, someone you could be dealing with romantically, co-workers, boss, if you have social media, if you have people who watch you from your social media. Can be anybody, okay? Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? Something unexpected has happened to you lately with the tower within one year, okay? Within one year, I would say. It feels like a one year to me right now. So someone could be talking about something that unexpectedly has happened to you lately. And strength and love first. It may have made you feel a certain way or disabled you in a... I hate to say this, but this obviously it's not for all of you, yeah? Um, take what resonates with you, a lot of specific details. Go strengthen them first. It may have disabled you in a, in a way. Um, it could be for some of you physically, it could be mentally, emotionally, or something. Um, for those of you, some, like the tower is a natural disaster as well. Those of you, you know, if you've experienced earthquake, um, something that, that happened, to your environment uh, or a place you were at. Um, it could be anything unexpected, right? It could be something small like missing your flight too, okay? Don't don't take it as like something um, too big. I know that the, when I say n natural disaster, the disaster sounds like so. Some of you maybe, it could be, yeah, but I know we've got the Queen of Wands, but you persevered. You could be embodying the Queen of Wands you championed out of the situation, you soldiered on, which is really, really good, but you could still be on your way to recovery, right? With a star here in one first. Three swords in one first. There could also be someone jealous around you because sometimes, you know, the three cups, some people talking, gathering together, talking stuff about you um, that may have happened to you. The star and one verse, yeah. There could be some gossips in regards to you. To either, you know, the star and one verse. Star sometimes can indicate some sort of reputation to taint your reputation um, so that people don't like you. Uh, with the nine of wands here in verse, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be an Aquarius, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be any sign. So this person just wants to either defame defame you or say something to put a dent in your reputation. Um, but Three of Cups and Reverse can also indicate anti-social. For those of you, if you've been, haven't been really socializing because of a situation you could be facing right now, someone could be talking about that as well, right? Gossiping about, oh, they don't want to come out because this and that, this and that, right? Or that I haven't seen. It could also just be you not wanting to see this person and giving excuses. And this person may be making up stories as to why they haven't seen you in a bit. It could mean that as well. The eight of wands, six of wands. See, this, this card too. It's like a defamation card for me as well. Trying to pull you down from your high horse. Um, or put you down in general, right? Through sorts of one verse. Maybe this person is hurt because of something you've said to them or something you haven't said to them. It could be anything, but I feel like it's because of certain conversation you've had with this person, okay? Basically saying that you're not all that, you're not, 
you know, you're not doing well, saying all the, the stuff about you. And but this person says it in a way where it's like as if they're really concerned about you, but it doesn't it feels more like they're just trying to put you down so that people will look at you in a different way. And if you're not doing well right now, they could be saying things like it's it's just not in their position to say anything about you. Um, to be honest, but they just want to say it anyway, conveying news that's not their news to convey, okay? So, we've got the Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Moon and Reverse, yeah. Telling all your secrets, to, secrets of your business to everyone. It could be just an assumption, they, they could just be assuming it, or it could be a lie, a flat out lie. Okay, because the moon can indicate deception as well. And five of wands in reverse, yeah, this person could be a rival or lately or in the past. Both of you had some disagreements, right? Five of swords. See, I don't like this energy because it feels like they say these things just to one-up you, okay? Just to one-up you. They could be also very competitive with you. Um, again, this person can be anybody, people you work with, could be a family member, friends, could be anybody, but people you work with, your nemesis, right? Let's see more. Yeah, magician and reversing, like, uh, I feel like there's some good stuff someone may have said, but also majority of it, it just doesn't feel feels like there is an ulterior motive to why this person in particular or group of people could be talking about you. I feel like there's one leader in a group, okay? A leader in a group that could be spewing all of these things about you that led to some sort of a gossip. Some are concerned about you. Some could be citing the leader okay because the five of swords looks like there is a leader right here and the queen of wands as well magician here is in a verse yeah telling your business to everybody you know the thing is these are the things that perhaps you are not too proud of or that these are the things that it could have been nothing as well and they could have blown it out of the proportion because of the tower like making it bigger than it truly is so it feels like there could be some deception there. Um, blowing out of proportion for sure. Things that may have been just like really small and then they make it, they gossip about it, making it sound worse than it truly is. That's what I'm seeing. There could be some truth to it, but not all the way, okay? So we've got these Seven of Pentacles here. No, I haven't seen Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I don't know. But what I heard is, that's what I'm seeing right here. Most likely someone you had an altercation with, Five of Wands, didn't get along. Some drama may have happened between the two of you. And they may say that they haven't seen you in a while, right? Seven Pentacles. So some hidden uh, Pentacles here. So you may have hiding yourself from this person, you may not want to talk to this person, seven of wands, you know, first, um, saying maybe things aren't going well with you, this assumption as well, yeah, a lot of assumptions as if you're not doing well, could be you not doing well physically, mentally, or monetarily, your environment, your situation is just not good, someone could be gossiping about that. You know, the thing is, Five of Swords is looking at Kate, you know, deception where this person may be telling lies about you, deceiving them. Like um, something about, oh, I've seen their true colors finally, or don't listen to what they said about me because it's not true. There's a lot of back and forth energy because, like, a lot of conversation. Five of Wands and Eight of Wands here, see? Right? A lot of back and forth. So I feel like these. These conversations have happened between a few people, at least, or at least two people, yeah? Page of Swords and Love first. Like, this peop these people may have been spying on you or just asking a lot about you. But I don't see the intention 
majority the intention is not good maybe except for one or two could be like saying oh but i think she's okay or he's okay and i oh i hope everything is gonna be okay you know that kind of a um energy but majority i feel like there's one leader here who could be spreading so many things about you and leading everybody else on to this gossip all right take care pisces cancer and scorpio this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channel it's called chelsea vlogs it's my travel channel for those of you who have missed my live stream make sure you click on the bell notification button i just started doing live stream and i had so much fun and i'm gonna continue doing it um but the thing is i don't usually plan i just it's up to my mood how i feel <laughs> if i feel like hmm, i think i want a live stream and then i'll do it like within five minutes and make sure you turn on your bell notification button and on that live stream i'm gonna do um individual sign readings and also i will answer all your personal questions but there is a but right there because um i've only live streamed twice so the first one i did i said don't have to give me anything i'm just gonna you know live stream i'm just gonna answer all your questions for free but then somebody sent me super chat and i was like oh I didn't even realize that I had super chat. I didn't even mention anything about it. So then I thought, okay, I had to prioritize his question, right? Because he sent me super chat. That was so sweet of him. So what I've figured out eventually, what I've come to finally is to um, still give free, free personal readings. But the super chat, if somebody sends me super chat, I will prioritize their questions, okay? That means I'll bump up the questions. And also another thing is I don't know how long I will continue with the live stream. Because the last time I realized I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can't go on as long as I could as I wanted to. So I said, um, yeah, just to catch my next one. Basically, you have to be on time. When I say I'm going to live stream, you have to come on it right away and ask your question, okay? first come first serve for the free ones but then again if there are if somebody sends me super chat i will i'll bump up the question because i i couldn't finish a lot of the questions the last two live streams there's too many questions and also you know i had to take a break i had to you know it's a lot of people don't know that unless you are a tarot reader yourself but it is very 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 extremely energy drain energy draining when you when when we read actually that's why there are like these crystals um he used to have this black crystal really big one it was too heavy i just had to give it away i gave i gave it away because i i travel a lot and that's too heavy for me to traveling around with it but it makes a difference it makes a huge difference i miss my stone actually <laughs> but anyway um, take care, Pisces, Kansas, Scorpio. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.